I'll do my best answering whatever I know. Yeah. I'm Mary Stoney and uh, I'm a grandmother um, and a mother. <laughs> and uh, I'm 87 years old. Life was so different compared to now when I was a little girl. You know, uh, we knew our culture because we were living in it, you know, with our culture. Yeah, and uh, we were very close to our uh, to our parents. We were never left at home. So we started working at the young ages, you know, when we were able, like to haul wood into the house, haul water into the house, help, you know, help with the chores. And for washing, we had to melt the snow. But uh, things are way different nowadays than what we grown up with. The sweats, it was just for men, not women. And uh, even the drum, just men held the drum. Yeah, and years ago too, women didn't, uh, you know, were not out dancing at the powwow. Just men used to go out hunting. Women didn't go along. There was nothing wasted. Everything was preserved. Yeah, even the, you know, bones uh, with some meat on it. Yeah. Like the leg part, they would cook it in the fire and then eat the marrow. And since there was no fridges, we didn't have no fridges, no power, they used to uh, uh, smoke the meat, make dry meat, yeah, if there was meat, you know. And berries, you know, uh, we used to dry them. Even, the, you know, after we uh, crushed the choke cherries, they were dried, put them all in a sack. Even the Saskatoons put them all in a sack after when they were dried, and then you put those away for the winter. That was your can in there. <laughs> because people didn't have no uh, jars then, eh? And then we'd have the berries through the winter. Yeah. And then yeah, he would keep the food outside in the winter to build a box, you know, and nail it on the wall of the house. And the food was put in there. Very, very rare that we fried food because we, like I said, you know, you want to stress the food make soup out of uh, whatever you boil. And uh, almost every home had gardens. You know, we, we had vegetables, potatoes, yeah. And uh, baked bannock, oh, that was all we ever had was baked bannock, yeah. Sometimes, you know, for treats we'd have fried bannock, yeah. And you know what, when they had uh, a powwow or a round dance, you know, they would uh, make sandwiches out of, uh, out of uh, bread. And it was very rare we had bread. It was a treat for us. Even at feasts, they used to use bread because it was a treat. They never went to school, my parents, so they were fluent Cree. That's how come uh, I, I didn't know a word of English when I went uh, to the residential school. I had to learn English. You know, it's sad that, uh, you know, the young people, the kids, don't talk Cree anymore. I still talk to my children Cree, even my grandchildren, even if they don't understand me, you know. Mm -hmm. but. They will tell me if they don't understand me, and I'll say it in English. I like to uh, teach, you know, the way Cree was growing up here. Yeah, it's important to uh, know your language, eh? Because that's your identity, you know, your language. I just do sewing now. If 
but uh, I'm not going to show my sewing. They might copy it.